As soon as I heard about the new Google generative AI search, I'm like, wow, this is that next thing. That's something that could level the playing field for not only myself, but for my clients and for you. Now, Google up until now is so competitive. There's so much competition. Whether you're an e-commerce store, a local business, an online business, you've always been competing with the big dogs. The big dogs are spending thousands, if not millions of dollars to show up number one on Google search. Oh, by the way, you also have to compete with the Google ads that show up before you. Until I heard about Google Generative AI, tested it for myself and a few of our clients, and now we have multiple videos and blog posts showing up number one on Google. Our e-commerce store clients are also showing their e-commerce products number one on Google as well. Generative AI has just leveled the SEO playing field and it's now or never to get on that train. So where are you at with your business? If you're a new business, start doing this. If you're an old business, start doing this. And how we do it is we do it with YouTube videos and then we recommend our clients with e-commerce stores to do it with products. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links, and I've been doing this marketing stuff for over eight years, helped over 2,500 people start and grow online, and I make these YouTube videos to help coach you and teach you based on the latest things that we're seeing for our business and our hundreds of agency clients that we work with. So I wanna share my screen today and show you some examples of how we've started doing this. Now I decided to go all in with YouTube to push to the Google Generative AI back in August. I went from 1,400 subscribers to just hit 100,000 subscribers and surprisingly, they all came from Google, not necessarily all from YouTube. Now, if you come from YouTube and other social media networks like my X profile, but my main channel that's bringing in the most people is Google Generative AI. If you look here, you're gonna see my YouTube videos are the first things that show up on the Google search. So whenever I make a video about this, you can see if somebody types in WordPress or Wix, I'm showing up at the top. Now my blog posts and my YouTube video showing up at the top that I'm gonna show you the framework today that you can start implementing into your business. Whether you're e-commerce, you wanna integrate your products, and if you're a local business or an online business, you wanna integrate YouTube videos. Because as you can see, my YouTube videos show here. Again, I do a basic search on automate your content marketing and all my YouTube videos show up because I'm the one optimizing for generative AI. And I just started doing this in August, so not even a year yet. So even if you're new, you can instantly get to the top if you choose the right topic and the right keywords and then make the right content around it, which I'll show you today. Here's one I just recently posted five days ago. And not only is my blog number one, but my YouTube videos number one. Pretty cool. And that's why I said we are leveling the playing field. Here's one that's showing Google Generative AI and showing two of my YouTube videos at the top with the full explanation of my business. Here's an example on how it looks in search. So you can see this is the old school person that either has an awesome website that's been around for years or they've spent a lot of money or knowledge on SEO. But if you just scroll down a little bit more on this competitive keyword, get more leads without ads, what's the first thing you start seeing is YouTube videos. And surprisingly enough, my YouTube video is showing up higher than Neil Patel, who if you don't know him, he's one of the number one marketers in the world. Now, I don't know about you, but when I do my searches now, I look to learn how to grill snapper on my grill. So if you're not familiar with snapper, it's a fish. So we went and got some local sea fish. I came home, I did a quick Google search. What's the best way to grill snapper on the grill? Well, what's the first thing that shows up? Let me show you how to grill snapper on the grill. Let's look. Weird, first thing that showed up is a YouTube video. And guess what? That's the first thing I clicked. I clicked on this YouTube video, I subscribed, and he taught me how to grill snapper on the grill. So now he's got a new subscriber and he had another eyeball, not necessarily from YouTube, but from Google search. So how can you do it for your business? So first of all, we want to name our blog the same title as our YouTube video. Now, if you're an e-commerce store, you want to make blogs around your products. So let's say you're selling lights. You wanna be able to write a blog about that specific light in that category and link that blog, add links to the actual product. 
Let's, sell, let's say you sell something like shoes or let's say t-shirts, right? You wanna write a blog about why your t-shirt's the best fitting t-shirt with a link to the product. Then at the top of that blog post, you wanna give Google four simple tips, questions and answers, and that's what they're pulling that AI data from. So if you give them these four simple questions and answers right away, that's where Google's gonna come back and they're gonna give you that first search result in that generative AI because you're providing an easy, simple answer that answers their user question, provides a great answer for them. As you can see here, my four simple questions and answers show up even before my YouTube video. That's what Google wants. From there, you always put a table of contents in your blog, but this is the most important. You name your YouTube video the same name as your blog post. So how to automate social media, how to automate social media. That's exactly the same. So now I'm telling Google, Here's four simple tips, which is the most important to them, I think, right now with generative AI. Here's four simple tips plus a how-to video, or if you're e-commerce, plus a product, associated product, that you can throw in there. So let me look here. Best grill online. Let's take a look at what they show. So as you can see, the first thing they want to show are the actual grills. Then they're going to show a grill with a picture. Now, this isn't even their product. This is a blog. So if you write a blog about the best grill or a blog about your best product and put it here, they're gonna start showing that up at the very top. That's key. They're also showing even things like Reddit. So make sure you link your, your blogs to Reddit and Quora so you show up in those search results as well. A few other things you'll wanna just keep in mind that I'll run through. And if you guys want this full guide, just comment guide below and I'll have someone on my team send you this link so you can just check out this document. But some things you wanna really search is learn, do a little research on understanding Google Generative AI. They want it to be simple questions and answers that they can make a good user experience for their visitors. Optimize your blog. You wanna be able to find a keyword that no one else is ranking for. So let's say you want to rank something for the best restaurant in New York. There's a million other people that type that already have best restaurant in New York. So you wanna be more specific, like best Chinese restaurant in the Bronx. So think about your business, how you can have a similar blog that is competitive, but you wanna change one or two words there. You can even try adding the word guide at the end. So if you have best gym in San Francisco, you can do best gym in San Francisco, free guide to finding your favorite gym. So you wanna just change a couple of those words where no one else has those words and you'll start showing up in generative AI for those. Write high quality content. You can still use AI to help you, but you wanna use language that only you would use because if AI writes it, you'll know right away AI wrote it. So as a trick, we take the transcriptions from my video and I teach this in my masterclass. You take the transcriptions and you have AI write you a blog, but only using the words you use in your video. Now it's only using the words. So I'm making this blog right now where my team will download the captions from this video. It'll tell ChatGPT, write a blog, but only use the words Brad said in that video. That way we're not using any AI videos. Add the four simple questions and tips, like I put there, put them at the top so Google sees them, and embed your YouTube video. And if you're e-commerce, bonus points if you can embed a YouTube video and an e-commerce product. We actually work with a company that's doing that and they have multiple blog posts and products showing up number one on Google because of that. So try to go all in on this if you wanna take this hidden opportunity. So what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the next trend? Or are you waiting for the next easy thing to do? I'm not saying this is easy, but I'm saying that it's the next trend that you can get to the top of the playing field quicker than if you were just competing with the general SEO. I'm gonna do another YouTube video It'd be awesome if you subscribed where I start showing you how to rank your website in ChatGPT. More and more people are using ChatGPT to find these. So what we do is we take our video, our blog, we rank it with Google Generative AI, then we submit it to ChatGPT so those answers are in there and reference automation links. So it'd be awesome if you subscribe. Join my newsletter down below. Every week I send you automation tips on how to automate your website. And um, if you're new to my channel, comment new, tell me a little bit about your business so I can check you out and support you any way that I can. So thanks again for watching this video. And of course, I'll see you on the next one.